The murder of Andrew and Abby Borden in 1892 sent shockwaves through the small town of Fall River, Massachusetts. The gruesome killings of this wealthy and respected couple captivated the nation, creating a mystery that still remains unsolved to this day. Andrew Borden, a successful businessman, and his second wife, Abby, were found brutally murdered in their own home on August 4, 1892. Their bodies bore multiple hatchet wounds, leading to a grisly scene that would forever haunt the town. Andrew Jackson Borden was born on September 10, 1822, in Fall River, Massachusetts. He grew up in modest circumstances, but managed to build a successful career as a property developer and investor. Despite his financial success, he was known for his frugal lifestyle and penny-pinching tendencies. Andrew married his first wife, Sarah Morse, in 1845, and together they had three children, Emma, Alice, and Lizzie. Unfortunately, Sarah passed away in 1863, leaving Andrew to raise their children on his own. As time went on, Andrew decided to remarry and welcomed Abby Durfee Gray to his family. Abby took on the role of stepmother to Andrew's daughters and worked hard to maintain a harmonious household. However, tension existed within the family, particularly between Abby and Lizzie, Andrew's youngest daughter. The strained relationship would later fuel speculations about potential motives in the murder case. On that fateful day in August 1892, the household was consumed by an eerie tranquility. Andrew and Abby were discovered hacked to death in their own home, their skulls brutally shattered. The gruesome discovery stunned the small community, and soon all eyes turned to Lizzie Borden, Andrew's youngest daughter. Lizzie had been present in the house at the time of the murders, but she claimed to have been in a different section of the property throughout the entire incident. Despite her protests of innocence, Lizzie quickly became the prime suspect in the case, the local police conducted a thorough investigation only to find no concrete evidence linking her to the crime. The lack of a murder weapon, significant bloodstains on Lizzie's clothing, or any eyewitnesses left the case in a frustrating stalemate. The trial that followed captured the attention of the nation, filled with sensationalist media coverage and public fascination with the unspeakable crime. Ultimately, the jury acquitted Lizzie Borden of the charges against her, leaving the case unresolved. Despite her acquittal, Lizzie faced a lifetime of suspicion and ostracism, with many believing she had managed to outwit the justice system. The case became a media sensation, bringing the gruesome details to households across the nation. Multiple theories regarding the identity of the true murderer emerged, ranging from a hired assassin to Lizzie herself. Over the years, numerous authors, filmmakers, and amateur sleuths have delved into the case, attempting to unlock the truth behind the murders. The Borden House, now a bed and breakfast, remains a popular tourist attraction, with visitors hoping to catch a glimpse of lingering spirits or uncover new evidence. Despite the passage of time, the case continues to fascinate and mystify, its conclusion forever lost to the annals of history.